Oh my god. Oh wow, that is really... That is, uh, they, honestly, it might be an improvement for better or worse. Hello, welcome to the adventures of your good pal, Grigna. We got a lot to uh, we got a lot to do today. We got a lot. To, I got a lot to talk about today. We got a lot to do today, huh? Um, oh, I suppose we don't really have that much. We got to water like a handful of plants. But then after that, it's open season. So I want to start work on the bundles just uh, just before we kick things off. Got to start work on the bundles. Got to start focusing on that a little bit. Um, a lot of people have been pointing out that that like a certain say like when it rains during fall, we've got to catch some fish. Uh, uh, kind of ideally now or as soon as possible to make sure we've got it for the bundles, right? For the community center, as well as we're going to miss out on that until next year. So, got to got to start planning out a bit more, I think, before next episode. Um, I haven't really got time to do it today, because this episode's got to be live in like an hour and a bit. Um, but we've got... I'll start planning out the community bundle, you know, making like a, little, a bit of a game plan for our guy, Grigna. If you're wondering, I've lost contact with Grigna's hat maker. Uh, so, it's flown away. It's gone to a new place, and I, I didn't want to use Grigna's hat. Until Grigna's hat maker had, had, you know, said, yes, Grigna, you may continue using your very fine hat. Uh, so he's going to go hatless for the hatless and shirtless for the time being. Although the shirtless, maybe some people won't complain about. But there is always that cowboy hat we could try and get, the rainbow cowboy hat. We're going very YM. We've got less, less barbarian, more YMC at the right things going here. Right, let's go ahead and sort all of this stuff out. Man, I like having all the watering done at like uh, 10, to, 10 to 8. That's quite nice, isn't it, huh? Holy crap. Let's get the water and can refilled for tomorrow, but then that's it. Farm life complete. We could start clearing the farm a little more. That'd be quite nice. Be quite nice to get all that all that sorted out as soon as possible. But also if we're not doing anything with the farm, I worry it would just all regrow and kind of be a bit of a bit of a waste of time, eh? What's the plan for today? Well, the day is in your hands. We've got big luck. We've got to go and have a chat with a lot of people. For the pet. Uh, I did actually look into it. I'm not sure what's going on. I think I'll need to do some save game editing, always nice and dangerous, to make it so Marnie doesn't think we refused the pet in the first place, because as far as I can tell, I did reinstall it and set everything up. Uh, the pet mod's working fine. I think because Gregna said no the first time for a joke, she's now punishing Gregna in a very cruel way. Um, all right, let's leave this over for a second while I decide what we do. We could always... Let's have a look at some of these bundles, then. Four crops bundle, of course, we're working on. Animals would be nice... Oh, I, I, my idea for the animals was kind of build them over to the, the right-hand side of where, over, over to the east from where Gregna is right now. What about, like, the fish bundles? We could, we could put this fishing skill to good use. Oh, winter foraging, that's right, we're gonna go into the mines. That's not a bad idea, I suppose. Crab pot bundle. We did build a crab pot, and actually, we have to install them in different places, don't we? Like, the river in town, the beachfront, the farm itself, they all provide different things. Uh, like the desert, too, as far as I recall. Um, clam, oyster, peru. Actually, a lot of these we can find through foraging. Okay, first things first. Let's go for the clam. Let me, let me write down some notes here. Let me pull up my, my sticky notes. Um, <laughs> my last one says, Wild horseradish, daffodil, leek, dandelion, parsnip, green bean, cauliflower. I do plan these things out. It's just sometimes they get a little lost in the ether. Um, so we're going to say crab pot bundle. That's a good idea. So make crab pots. Um, let me write down, uh, winter floors of mine. I don't know what floors they are, so we'll just have to kind of, kind of guess, I think, as we go along. Um, ocean fish, specialty fish, ghost fish we've got. Sand fish, wood skip. I think some of that's from the desert, isn't it? Ocean fish we could probably do, but I know some of it is season locked. Night fishing. Man, I, I think maybe the only one we can do is the crab pot, unfortunately. What about some of these? Chef's bundle, um... Truffle we need pigs for, right? Mackie rolls, fried eggs, we'll need to do some cooking. We need to upgrade the house for that, as far as I recall. Red cabbage, like this we can pretty much do as well. Duck feather, okay, we need more animals, that's fine. Oh, and then the Nautilla shell, I don't remember where we got that. I think that was also some, like, crab pot, right? Oh, shit. Well, okay, um, well, it's a little easier than I anticipated. Hmm, we we just go out there and catch a few fish? Sure, why not? Let's grab our, let's grab our rod, and, rod and go to town. I really want to get rid of that hook. It sucks. It's It actually sucks. How do I remove it? Ah, oh, there you go. Got it. Oh, it's almost broken anyway. Um, What can we make for fishing hooks? Let's see here. Treasure hunter, dress spinner. Increases the bite rate. I don't necessarily want that. Slightly increases the size of your fishing bar. Causes fish to escape slow when you aren't really... That'd be really good for... um. I guess that's really good for uh, legendary fish because they move around so much. Let's go for the cork bobber. I know it's boring, 
But that sounds the most kind of generically useful to me. So let's go with that one. Um, then let's take the... We've got the sword. Let's take the pickaxe so that we can go down to uh, the mine floors as well. And let's go for crab pot. Why not? Grigna goes crabbing. Let's do it. We've actually got enough for another crab pot. We need to get some... Uh, and again, iron bars when we're down there. This all works out kind of well. We already made a crab pot somewhere, right? Where did I put that? Fishing chest? Where did I put that? <laughs> um... Your guess is as good as mine on that one. That could be absolutely anywhere. Put it in tools. I'd have said something like, well, crab pot is probably a tool. Well, it's definitely not in there. Oh, shit. Well, whatever. That's for the that's for the bundles. Let's throw that in there. Um, as long as we make another chest to go for it as well, the chest can, can suck up the crabs and bin them automatically for us. There we are. Let's just take the one. We don't need the one. Should we set it up on the farm? I think that's fine. I think we'll, we'll dash down here and... Because this one we're checking quite a lot. You never know what we'll get from here, so why not? Let's do one of... Oh! Don't jump in, Greg. No, good lord. Oh! Come on! I just want to put it in the... There you go. Right. If we do that and then throw that, like, um... There? Well, I don't know if that'll work. I guess we'll find out tomorrow, eh? Seems a little close. So someone was saying uh, cactuses are really good to take down into Skull Cavern, into the mines of Skull Cavern. So next time, just grab whatever cactuses we can find outside and take them down there. I'll take a little food for the mines anyway, seeing as that's where we're going. Um, when we're in the mines, we'll also grab... We'll also do some fishing. I think the fishing bundle is, is like one that I probably should be focusing on more, given that they are they are locked like that. Um, what have we got? Oh, that's an artisan good, so let's put that in there. Chocolate cake. Wowee. Okay. Doesn't seem like the best thing to be taking down into the mine, does it? <laughs> Miner's treat? That seems like that's a bit of a waste to use in... In anywhere but Skull Cavern. Whatever. Like the lower floors of Skull Cavern too, right? Let's throw this in here. You can have that for the bundle. You can have the cheese for the bundle. The Arts and Goods bundle. Oh, I thought that was Arts and Goods. No, that's Enchanters. Are Enchanters known for wine? Not sure about that one, fella. Um. Oh! Straw hat. Sure, why the hell not? Wowee. That looks fucking terrible. <laughs> That's god awful. Oh, hazelnuts. Oh, she destroyed it! She rolled right over it and smashed it to bits. Maybe she picks it up, picked it up betwixt her cheeks. The clap of her... Oh, god damn it, Pam. Alright, so uh, frozen floors. Like floor 30 onwards, right? Uh, well, let's try it. We'll soon find out. Hello? Nope, definitely not. I could look this up, but that would be would be far too easy. Ah, here you go. Right, let's get let's, let's, let's get on with it. Oh, for God's sake. No, not that, Greg. No, for God's sake. Now's not the time for fishing. Ugh. Get him. Look at this man go. Oh, it does like one damage to him because he's this is, this is like the, the piss baby floors. It was like one of the first bosses you would you would theoretically fight, right? There you go. That wasn't too bad. Wow, four iridium for fighting that guy. Holy crap. Thank you. Ah, oh, and there it is. Um, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna accidentally use that so often. Boom. That's exactly what we're after. Big old geode. Very nice. And the day is in Grigna's hands, don't forget. Ooh, Jade? So that means that we're gonna be more lucky find those ladders sooner. We'll smash these, why not? See what we've got. A little bit of iron ore. A little bit of a forest sword. Thank you. Very nice. He doesn't lurch forward very much, does he? Oh, I don't know why he lurches forward so much with, like, the regular tools. Not his sword. I guess he probably wouldn't want to fling yourself into an enemy like that. Oh, this is so good. Think of all the crab pots we can make. Oh! I want to save up for that galaxy hammer, too. Look, I like the sword I do, but it's not Grignor, is it? It's just not... It's just not my guy. I'm looking forward to a nice, relaxing day of Stardew today, I think. A nice, a nice, a nice, quiet, calm time. We've had quite the day. Quite the day, indeed. Very, very complicated things happening. Can't really talk about it. I can vaguely talk about it. I wanted to set up this project. I've been planning this project for absolutely ages. Um, but then, to cut a long story short... Because of some contractual obligations, I wasn't allowed to do the project anymore. I literally cannot talk about it under NDA. Can't talk about it. Had to give up on this other project that I'd started. Very annoying. Um, 
couldn't really explain more than that either. <laughs> Both to the people involved and here. But I was really pissed off that I couldn't carry on with it, suffice to say. Oh, look at that hideous mushroom. And uh, that's kind of that. I wasn't going to mess up. Well, I, I fully respect NDAs. I'm not pissing around with that. That's how I pay my rent. Like, I'm not going to risk <laughs> breaching that at all. That's ridiculous. I'd rather not be homeless. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's my livelihood. That puts a roof above two people. I'm not, I'm not going to mess around with that. So it was a bit of a complicated time. I guess that's the price you pay. For all these, all these millions. All this fame and fortune. And lavish lifestyle. Living in a fucking house filled with boxes. Wow. Oh, sorry, let me refresh. Waiting to be evicted from a house filled with boxes. Wow. So good. This was a fun situation. Um, done the whole thing made me think like, wow, I'm just going to fucking quit social media. So I did. Um, <laughs> that was that. I decided, you know what? I think I'm pretty done here. This is the consequences of trying to... Hang out and be a regular guy with people. Not allowed to do that. I haven't like outright quit Discord, but I'm just going to be like popping in for an hour a day at very most. Not spending. Let me clarify. Not like spending like an hour a day on that. Good God, no. I mean, like being there between the hours of 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. and then saying, "Sorry, that's it. I'm I'm good now. Thank you." So that was fun. That was a uh, project that I'd spent ages planning, building up to be, to be uh, destroyed, horribly destroyed. And then to have some of the people involved in the project angry at me. But I'm like, well, I'm, I'm the one that should be angry. But I get it. Uh, it's, I, it's difficult to have that kind of perspective, you know, probably very, very disappointed that it suddenly just disappeared. And I can't really explain why. But also, if I explain it, I might get in trouble, so... It's lose-lose, really. So now it's a nice relaxing day of Grigna to make up for it. That's also why I've, I've, I've recorded Rimworld first today, actually. I almost scrapped the Monkey series. Almost scrapped it, because it was kind of... A few complications. I was like, maybe I'll just move on to the, the new Rimworld update. Where's the boss? <laughs> was it just an infested floor? Fair enough. But instead, the Monkey series is going to take on a new form. Which I think was a, a good, a good solution. A good solution. Oh. Boy, I hope this music isn't copyrighted. It hasn't been so far, to be fair. It might just be the music from when Pierre fights Morris. Spoilers for Stardew Valley. So spoilers for the Stardew Valley story. I actually think it is in hindsight. Oh, Ghostfish. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, God. My, okay, backpack repair before the hammer, right? That seems like that could be a good idea. Let's eat a mushroom. Eat some crappy, crappy old, horrible, disgusting mushrooms. Oh, you know, in the bin. I couldn't think of anything worse to eat than a mushroom. I'd rather, I'd rather starve. Vile, absolutely vile, disgusting things. What the hell? Oh, that's just like all uh, geodes on the floor. Hey, um, I can go in the bin. <laughs> we got a little bit of the uh, winter forage, but I d I'm, I, I'm starting to think maybe we can't get the whole bundle from just coming down into the mines, huh? With two cave carrots. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe that's... Uh, let's have a look again. Uh, which one was it? Rewards friendship. What the hell do you mean by that? I don't give a fuck about friendship. Get out of here. Uh, it was the winter foraging bundle. Snow yam, I bet cro I bet we can't get crocus. Obviously, we've just picked up the crystal fruit. We've got the winter roots as well. I bet we can't get snow yam or crocus from it. That's a real shame. That's okay, because we're getting the ore that we need. Wow, this music's just not stopping. This is this is really really hyping Grigner up. Oh, here we go. Dragon! Is this the same dragon you think that slew Grigner before? That Robin must have come down and dealt with after. Was it Robin or Linus? I don't remember. She's fearsome. When she quote unquote mistook us for a piece of exotic wood. My god, right now she would be mistaking us for a piece of... God, we're not taking much damage from these guys, are we? Right now she would be mistaking us for a piece of hardwood. 
What I think I might want to do is go to, um, oh, they're like 5,000 apiece though, aren't they? Go to Marlon, buy the critical strike chance ring. No! All that delicious stuff. Oh, let's get rid of the plant fiber. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Crab pot. I don't really know what we do with it. Bug me. Oh, man, I want to keep that. Ugh. I, although, to be fair, we've got two worm bins. What, what is that? A strange bun. That looks disgust. That does not look like a strange. It looks disgusting. Spicy eel is fantastic. We're good with that. Um, we needed our bone fragments to make a, a ring. Am I remembering that right? Thorns ring. That's it. Yeah, it's the th we, don't, we don't have a thorns ring, do we? And I presume that'll do damage to people who attack. Why did Grigna get a beard? Oh, Grigna's always had a beard. He's got like a, a dark beard now. Because it's night time. I get it. I understand. What do you drop? Oh, boots. Uh, I mean, we've got better boots, so I'm not really that interested. The refined quartz can go in the bin. Thermal boots. I think I'm okay. I'm really interested to see if that crab pot's work now. I don't know if I've set it up right. We've got to kill all these fellas to be able to move down. Oh, for God's sake. I mean, Gregner loves combat, but what he loves more is a challenge. He loves treasure. This isn't either of those things. These pathetic little creatures. Ready to be smashed. Remember going to Skull Cavern again tomorrow? What a relaxing experience, but simultaneously, this is... This is pathetic. <laughs> oh, look at how muscular he is. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Hello. Hello, fellas. Got any iron ore for me? That'd be, that'd be nice. I mean, worst case scenario, we could buy it from he who shall not be named. Because if it's going to take a while to get the, the crab pots filled up. Oh. And then they do something like this. Very much asking you shall receive. Look at this place. Disgusting mushrooms. Give me that. Oh. Fancy mushrooms though. Uh, earth crystals. I guess we'll bin those. We don't need those, do we? It's part of the die bundle. We've already got some, but what the hell is that rock? That's a scrotum rock. What the fuck is that rock? I'm not sure I want to touch it. Oh, it's so horrible. What was that? We didn't get anything from it because it shriveled up. There was a scrotum rock. You can't deny it. It's on an ice cold floor. Oh. Oh. Horrible. Although then again, Grigna is shirtless. This poor guy must be freezing. Oh, no, no, no. Because he's from... Canonically, he's from like the frozen, the frozen plains of the desert north. You know how it is. The jungles of Grigna's frozen desert homeland. Give me that gold. Uh, be gone. How much iron did we get? Uh, fifty-six. Oh, you know what? That's not bad. I was a little disappointed, but actually, it's been it's been pretty ludicrous. What's the word? The business word again? Ludicrous business venture. I, I cannot get that out of my head now. The actual word is just gone. When I, when I try and think of it in real life. Because this is in real life, I'm sorry to say. When I try and think of it in real life, it's just ludicrous. Now, what is it? A, a lush. This isn't a bit. I genuinely still cannot remember it. Luscious business adventure? That's, business adventure? That's not right. Lu, lu, lucrative. 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 <laughs> it's like Lu Lu Lucius. Fucking hell. This is not as bad as Super Cucumber. Hello, little fella. What have you dropped there? Oh, ring for Grigna. Oh, nine for mortal men, three for elves, and 21 for the sexiest man who will ever live a magnet ring. Oh, fucking thanks. That's a load of shit. Oh, careful there. Honestly, I think I'm done. I think I'm out. I think I'm done with the mines. I think I'm done with the mines. A boring, horrible place anyway. Right, eat the chocolate cake. He ate that whole chocolate cake in like two bites. What a madman. All right. Midnight carp sounds like something we might want for the bundle. It could be a legendary fish. I guess we'll bloody find out, won't we? Whoa, that bar's huge now. Oh. <laughs> it's a carp. It's a little fishy. 
I mean, they're all a little fishy, but carps are like just about as generic as a fish can get, right? Careful. Careful now. Oh, this is easy fishing up here. Oh, my God. If we're ever going to build up a street, this is it. A chub. We need a chub for one of the bundles. I sold all the others. Remember, we're going to keep... Oh, a council like fish bundle. That's good. We're keeping all of the... um. All of the fish we catch. Now, come on, come up a little bit. Come up a little bit. Come up. Oh, you prick. Fine. Be difficult. God, they're, they're like so... So lazy. Oh, goldfish. New record. We got a massive goldfish. Well, inside the box was... Oh, right. Of course, inside the box was the carp because we haven't we haven't got the inventory room for it. This is a terrible time to be fishing. Get rid of the clay. Um, <laughs> oh, I want to keep everything. But I can't, such as the curse of Gregner. That was a big old fish. Man, I want to get the midnight fish, but I'm also worried that we'll end up getting a load of treasure. We could come in here. Hear me out. We could, hear me out, drop some stuff in here. Specifically, we'll put all the rocks in there. Keep it nice and organized. Keep the coal. Keep the iron. Anything we get out of the mines, we can throw in here. That way, we can just quick stack it later on. Ah, oh, like solar essence, bat wings are, bone fragments... Cave carrots, quartz. Um, to be honest, a lot of this stuff, like Omni Geodes, and then we'll just come and pick it up tomorrow. I want that midnight carp because it could be a legendary fish. Bollocks. 20% <laughs> chance. We catch five fish, but it's guaranteed. Oh my god, fucking hell, every time of that owl. Fucking thing. This gets the life out of me. Giant flying Linus. Unbelievable. Why the hell was that only a gold quality one? Ooh, this one's got a bit more room to it. What the hell are you? Oh, look at it go. Wow. It's practically incatchable. Uncatchable. Oh, there it is. Midnight Carp. Cool. That's just it. Oh, well, this is, oh, this is actually a really nice place to catch fish to build the streak. This is really, really, this is basically like AFK. I bet if I had the iron hook... We could just sit here and just do this forever. Right, that'll have to do for tonight. I'm afraid it's 1am. grigman has got stuff to do. Thank you. Please hand over all the goods. In fact, we could probably fit all this in the backpack today. We've got to throw away one thing. Come on, just get rid of some shit. What do we not need? What do we not need here? Hang on, let's talk about this as adults. What do we not need? Uh, probably. Oh, probably that prismatic shard we could bin. I'm joking. I'm joking. Calm down. Calm down, okay? We've look, That's just a basic shitty cop. Give me that. Leave it here. Could you imagine? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that to you. You think I'd do that? I might. <laughs> Last episode. I, that's, that's the real goal, right? Get so deep in Skull Cavern that Grigner's just like swimming in prismatic shards and iridium. Holy crap. That would be amazing. Take this. Take this. Why is it not? Oh. Ah, there you go. Good, 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 good. Right, okay. Take this. Uh, crystal fruit. We need for our bundle. It's a bundle. Actually, a lot of that other stuff was for the bundle now that I think about it. We'll sort this out better at some point, I'm sure. You can hold that. You can hold that. That's cooking. That's cooking. You can hold that. Let's throw this in here. What, what else do I still we need for a bundle? Shit. Uh, field research. Sure. That's for die. Good. Give me that. Um, what the hell? Oh, it was a fish. It was a fish. It was a fish. Uh, field research chub, lake carp, any of these? Oh, crab pot, specialty fish, crab pot again. My god, specialty fish, good. Ocean fish, very nice, red snapper. Oh, well shit, we've done way more than I thought for the bundles. We've probably got quite a lot, I bet we could clear maybe one or two just from what shit we've got lying around. <laughs> there you go. And now you've run to bed with haste. Fly, fly Grigner. Fly, 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 fly. Ooh, every time you have plants ready to harvest. I don't think we fucking do. Do we? Huh. Okay, well, keep an eye out. I, I didn't even bother checking because I thought it was the second day of fall. Americans call it that because leaf fall down. Whereas we call it autumn because leaf, leaf autumn. Leaf, <laughs> leaf autumn. <laughs> You can, you can start making up the jokes for yourself now. Oh, good. It's Elliot's birthday. Remind me to avoid the beach. What the hell's ready for harvest? Oh, bok choy. 
Oh, that shit took like two seconds to to grow. Huh. Far enough. Um, so all the pumpkins are still good. We should do a bit more fishing to be able to fund some more uh, pumpkins. Because they only take nine days to grow. So we could get in maybe two harvests. Of the corn, of course, the corn from last season. That bok choy probably only grew today. Oh, but well, fantastic. Is any of this bundle? None of it's bundle. Really? We've got some post. Uh, well, you can go then. See you later, pal. Um, corn is full crops, and I think it's quality stuff too, right? Or is that just... Not sure. We're going to store it either way. Um, I'm going to throw in four and one. No, it's not quality crops bundle. Otherwise, it would say quality crops bundle. Here, take the corn. Take the corn. That's yours now. We've got a letter. Dear Grigna, please... Stop screaming at the owls. It's very late and we can hear you. Love, Robin. Perfect. We're going to see that traveling merchant. She might sell a green bean and that's what we need for the greenhouse. Oh, thank you. 50 wood. She really is coming on a bit strong. Everything with her is just wood, wood, wood. It's just non-stop wood. Even when we spoke to her the other day by Mayor Lewis, she's like, oh, you might be able to help me getting wood. Lady, you're married. Well, I don't know that she's married. She could be married. Uh, let's take the watering can. Let's do a let's do a quick do a quick quick sprinkle, and then let's head immediately to traveling merchant. I dream of the day we get green bean, because that's it. We get the greenhouse, and then with the greenhouse we can grow everything no matter when, and it doesn't. Oh, time is irrelevant to Grigna. He's ascended beyond this mortal plane, master of of time itself, a chronomancer. They're gonna start calling it. Oh, what what day is it now? Oh, it's the oh, it's Friday the fifth. A G. Anno Grigna. I heard some people say that's after death, and I was like, what, what are you fucking talking about? I, I get it, like, after death, because that's, that's, that's when the fella died. That's when he quite famous, famously he did that. But I was always taught in school it was Anno Domini. Maybe we're just like, I know it means basically the same thing. But like, maybe we're just old, old ass, old ass school time. I don't really know. Very confusing. Let me know in the comments. Right. Um, sorry, I was just con con consulting my notes, and then I realized, uh, actually, Crab Pot Bundle and Winter Floors of Mine is all I've written down. <laughs> so, very directionless. Directionless and maidenless. But this Grigna might always be maidenless. I like the idea of him just becoming best friends with Krobus. Maybe Emily, just to get... But not it's not out of love, though, is it? It's just to get back at Clint. Which, to be fair, is a fucking great reason for getting out of bed in the morning. Man's a menace on society. He's a weird fella. He's a weird, weird man. And I don't approve of him. And here we are. For the weird eldritch portal. The little woodpecker. Hello! You haven't even, how can you see us coming from there? Which is like a fucking chameleon. Bean starter. Uh, it's old. I don't think we can grow it at all, but it's worth a go, right? Kale, tulip, summer spangle. It would say, if I, as I was hovering over it, like, blah, 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 bundle, right? Maybe. Cave carrot. Oh, I think cave carrot's part of a bundle. Oh, you don't sell... Oh, well, I mean, she probably wouldn't sell it during this season, because this is the season where you grow it. She's probably planted all of her excess stock for mad profits. She's a clever lady. What does Elliot want for his birthday? Uh, disappointment is what he's getting from Grigner. I'm not going to see that man. I have standards. He creeps me out. He smells m m musty. He doesn't wash his hair. Strikes me as the type. I mean, where's he going to wash it? The ocean? Strikes me as the type that believes in, like, the natural oils. The, uh, heal the healing nature of the human body. I don't give a shit, Elliot. You stinky man. We're not inviting you to next year's luau. Not that Grigner was invited. Right, let's go to, uh, Skull Cabin. Sod it. Uh, I relish in the challenge. Oh, Grigna, you're not taking any food. Grigna doesn't need fucking food. Grigna doesn't need food. <laughs> Grigna doesn't need the food. What Grigna needs is cactus. Apparently. They're not lying to me. He's better, he's better be delicious. Oh, actually, they are pretty damn good. Yeah, you're, you're right. That's probably better than any food we could have bought with us. The person also said plants uh, some cactus. Sandy sells the seeds. Did I, have I already commented on the fact that her name is Sandy and she lives in the desert? Sorry, I've got something in my eye. It's really getting on my nerves. Ah! Uh, what is it? Oh! 
It's an eyeball. <laughs> okay, no, but actually, I think it's a hair gone in my eye. Ow. Oh, God, it's making me cry. Maybe it's just the emotion of being back here in Skull Cavern. Fucking shithole. Get out of here. Oh, now I see. Oh, I was not going to Skull Cavern. Oh, we need some iron ore. What do we find in Skull Cavern? Goddamn iron ore. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Wait, hold on. Ooh. Give me that. Was it up as a tree? Ground tree. Oh, what a Feeling a little lucky today. Okay, that's good. Skull Cavern's fine for Grigna, but we basically know that the second we see a boss, forget about it. Honestly, because Skull Cavern's rewards are cumulative. Fuck. What over my damn mouth. Because Skull Cavern's rewards are cumulative, the deeper we go, the better it is. Piss. Honestly, it's not worth even trying to clear out these lower floors. This sucks. <laughs> ah! Uh, no, not yet, not yet. Hold out, hold out. If we just keep swinging fast enough, can we just, like, get past it? Ugh! We've, as long as we get it on, like, a cardinal direction, like, right at the front of us, like this. The flames will hit the sword before it hits Grigna. It was, it was a great strategy. Unfortunately, it just did not work. Oh, good hit. Nice. Every time I think, oh, let's just sidestep it. Oh, there's got to be a method to fighting this bot, isn't it? Where the fuck are you going? Bruh. Nice, good hit. Hit, back off. Hit, back off. Christ, we're going to have to see barbecued. Oh, there's no food. No food. It's a hard fight. It's a hard fight. This, is that this must be the dragon from before. This must be. He's got a mate. Fucking hell, man! Nah, we're fucking dead. We're fucking dead again. Fuck this. These fucking bosses. They're so strong. Shit, they're so strong. What the fuck? Who the hell is supposed to beat that? If Grigna can't win, what, do you think a regular farmer's gonna do it? They have got 21 fingers. What have you got for me? Oh, great. You think there's Sandy Cell food? I don't really want to... There's no point paying Pam 500 to fuck off back home, pay her 500 to come back. I uh, presume it's a return ticket. You think Pam would be that greedy? Hello, I'll buy your food. Give me your food. Honey. Shirt. What are you trying to imply? She didn't sell shit. Oh. That's it. We're going home. We're going home. I, I, this, uh, I think, honestly, future... Future Skull Cavern. We see a boss, we just, we just leave. We just leave. We just climb the ladder and we get out. Because it's just too, they're just too strong. Until we make a fortune and we can get Grigna like the, the better weapons or better rings or whatever else. It's just, you might as well just sign the poor guy's death warrant. Well, let's go sit in the pond for a little while. Is Pam going to charge us again? She wouldn't. It's a day ticket. What sort of boss doesn't have a day ticket? She wouldn't be that. She wouldn't be that cruel. She would be. It gives us luck and speed. Give me the rice pudding. Give me the fucking cake. Give me the crab cake. Give me the chocolate cake. Give me the bounty. We're going down there. We're going back down. We've not seen the last of Grigna Grignison. Get rid of that acorn. Get rid of that shit. Right, take the rest because it's stackable with stuff that we're going to pick up. Oh, we've got to sit in the pond. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> so angry. These bosses are just tough as nails, and they haven't got like it's like Binding of Isaac. Oh, but a sidestep that. I was like, I'm gonna just spew out randomly in every direction. Those super cucumbers have gone a bit weird, haven't they? I wonder if we've got any super cucumbers we could take. They've got, they've got, they've pickled. They've gone, they've gone yellow. Right, that will do. Green is healthy. Well, he's healthy enough to kill. The only problem with not fighting the bosses and backing off when we see them is if we if we only go down four floors and then it's a boss, we've got to piss off and then we've got to redo those floors, right? So it's not... It's not really sustainable. It's always worth trying to fight the boss. Whatever. It's halfway through the day. we got we got hours ahead. Pam? Fuck you. I love you, but fuck you. Oh, i got something in my eyes still. It's really, really doing me in. That's why I lost against that dragon. I didn't see it coming. Oh, God. It's so painful. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This time. 
Send me your dragon. Not immediately, though, please. <laughs> please, God, no. Ah. Lovely place. Lovely, shitty place. Give me that, give me that iridium. We could do with a better pickaxe. Honestly, I think that might be a, a, a good upgrade to get from Clint. Maybe when we're going for the fishing bundles, that's what we'll, we'll give Clint the pickaxe. Because mining this iridium, of course, is doable, but... It takes up so much green as energy. Poor boy's tired out. All right, here's the plan. Because we haven't really got much use for Iridium besides um, well, sprinklers to expand the farm. Oh, shit, that was the entire plan, wasn't it? Because the only use for Iridium sprinklers is bringing us in, like, a, an enormous amount of profit and um, wealth. I think what we're going to do... But simultaneously, I say that, like, obviously sarcastically. I hope that came across. Um, but, as I said before, it's cumulative. The further we go down, the more... Iridium's gonna spawn in. So if we just fly down... Fuck me! If we just fly down... Skull Cavern... Jesus Christ, is Jason born? Oh, I mean, obviously it's worth stopping on a floor like this, right? But if we just grab... Some of the useful stuff... It's gonna save us... Long... Term... Time. You gotta go as deep as you can, as fast as you can. There's a good adage to live by in life. Don't, don't believe my lies. Don't follow that. That was a horrible idea. That's how Grigner lives his life. It doesn't mean you should live that. In fact, probably don't. You'll be well thanked. Uh, by the Mining Commission. I wasn't talking about anything. The, mi the Mining Commission will thank you. Free this man. Free this man. Fuck. We're good. We're good luck today. We're not. We're not good luck. We're not bad luck. Come on. There you go. There you go. Good. Oh, no, I missed some iridium. Don't care. Hello. Iridium sprinkler. Would you look at that? What a shocker. Time to be alive. Iridium sprinklers are iron. <laughs> I'm not telling you this. I'm asking. Uh, it was a bit pointless because I mean I'll I'll know. Before you ever get the opportunity to answer. Oh, it's the Eye of Sauron. Thunder Egg. What is Thunder Egg? Oh, God. I hate these dinosaurs. They suck. Oh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. There you go. What was I talking about? Right, yeah, yeah. Now, what are we actually after while we're down here? So many gifts. We've got so many diamonds. I should just start giving them out to people. Happy birthday, Ellie. It's a f fucking diamond. Don't take it personally. Like, don't. I'm just giving this to you because I've got too many. Oh, the diamonds shine like the stars in the night sky. Shut the f Just fucking say thank you. Christ. This reminds me of the twinkling in newborns. G uh, doting grandparent as it looks down on the... That's a big ant. Nah. <laughs> Alright. We're going to eat a super cucumber. Floor one? i got floor one view right here. What floors do American mines start at? Do you do it both ways? Because like in the UK, the ground floor is the it's like the the, gr the ground. The gr we have like the ground floor. Then we have floor one because uh, the UK's architects are also programmers. <laughs> that was very good. Uh, no, because the ground is a floor. And then floor one is, like, the, the first floor that you've built. That's, that's the first floor, right? Do you do... do which way... Do, like, so what is, is... Is the floor you go, like, down in America? Is the basement floor zero? Or fucking giant ant. Friggin' is, like, stuck. Or is the basement in America floor minus... Minus one? Because what you're doing, if the basement is not floor zero, 
Which also doesn't make sense, because how can it be floor zero when you're digging down? Surely that you're, you're taking away. It's got to be a negative. Just mathematically, right? Oh, there's a laser ant. Oh, he's not even an ant. He's just a big bug. A big fella. Hello, big fella. Big lasery fella. Oh, this guy's fucking easy. Why did I run away? What a coward. Do we just kind of... Kind of swing our sword? He just spawns up the dudes. As long as we stay in this position, I think we're going to be fine. Oh, there you go. Oh, this guy was easy. What the hell? So I'm, ju I'm just saying it's flawed either way. You you, there's no right answer that I'll accept here. Because you say, oh, floor zero is the basement. And then I'm like, well, how, how the fuck can it be? Because it's not... Because it's oh, you're, like, you're going underground. But then if you say it was, it's, it's minus one, doesn't make any sense either. Where's floor zero? Is it between the first and second floor? We call that the ground floor because it's on the gr it's on the ground. I just don't understand. It's just an impenetrable culture. I look across the the Atlantic and I think, oh, I don't. But when sometimes I do, and I think, what the hell happened? What's wrong with you people? I think you don't call it the ground floor because you're not very grounded people and you might think that's an insult, but everything in America is, um... Everything in America is multiplied by a degree of madness that is not acceptable in other countries. And again, you might think that's an insult. No, I mean that in, like, wealth, food, entertainment. I mean, everything's bigger in Texas, but everything's, like, marginally bigger in the U.S. compared to everywhere else in the world. Somewhere there's a sweet spot where it's like between Texas and America. You could probably judge all states based on that level. And then simultaneously, you could probably also judge other countries by it too. Like everything is slightly smaller in, you know, Germany. I don't know. That's up to you to figure out. You guys came up with this fucking stupid system just as you decided that the first floor is not actually a floor. When you go outside and you're on the ground, <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. What do you call that? This is the first floor, as you're stood in like a park. You know, fucking weird people. I don't know. I just couldn't survive over there. I feel like I'd adapt better to life in like China than I would America. It's just a truly impenetrable society. There you go. I'm glad we spent uh, four hours there fighting a big bug. That was fucking great. Did we got another one of these? I'm going to eat it. Strange bun. What's in the middle? Uh, arsenic. <laughs> Anthrax. Right in the crust. Trade secret. Uh. Wow. Very ethereal, isn't it? Ooh, I like that. That's a good. That's a good beat. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty good. There you go. New, new, new floor. Well done. We could just craft those stairs and like skip all the way down, but then Mr. Chill shout at me, and I, I, I want to impress him. So we're just gonna cheat externally in a way that he can't observe. I mean, I mean if he can't observe it, it was to say we ever cheated at all. It really makes you think. <laughs> Try applying that to your relationship. Man, Grigna's giving great relationship advice today. Agony Grigna. As in like an agony aunt. Agony Grigna doesn't really have the same. <laughs> agony Grigna was uh, him trying to fight that dragon earlier. Agony Grigna was when he accidentally sold all of his copper that he just bought from Clint back to Clint at a reduced price. That was Agony Grigna, let me tell you. What was this? What is that? Oh, some sort of strange rock. We should really go home. Fucking hell. Uh, what are you? Geminite. All right, let's run. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. It's 1 a.m. We're still in the Skull Cavern. This was a mistake. Uh, for him. Is Pam's bus service still running? She's, like, fucked off. I'm not waiting here all night. Pam, return. Put a foot down. I missed the darts. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. 
Shit. We'll make it. We'll actually make it so easily, too. We know that we can be in Skull Cavern until, like, 1am, and there's absolutely zero repercussions for that irresponsible activity. That's the best part. Watch this. Watch this. Bazinga. Yeah, I bet you like that. I, I fucking like that. What? Six more? No way. Uh, bang. Now all we've got to do is water. Oh, actually, this. You know what? Give me, give, hand that over. I'm sorry. This is going to be a very inefficient way to sprinkle. Uh, that'll do. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. That's good. That was great. Great work today. Um, nope, that's not a rock. Well, it could be. You never know what's in the middle. Thunder egg. What is that? Gem knight we need to take over. Have we got anything new for Gunther? I know we've got something in the other chest. Lumerite. Gem knight. What is it? What is gem? Why have I heard? Oh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. It was Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Yu -Oh. you, you know Yu-Gi-Oh's? With gem knights? Oh, they're going to think I'm weird now. You don't have to bring up Yu-Gi-Oh for. Oh, they're going to think I'm not cool. A gem Knight Prisma, you take two gems and you confuse them together. I think this is pretty Steven Universe just before any of you start frothing at the mouth. You're up there with Rick and Morty fans as far as I'm concerned. Hey, thanks for watching, Greg. Now, wow. Oh, level 990. We can make a Crystallarium. Oh, and level 8 combat. The bug Buglia's ring. Bug, bug, burglar. Bug, burglar? Burglar? Is that how you spell that? Burgular. 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 Burglar? No. Burglar. Comes from the Anglo Latin burgulator. Oh, that's where I'm getting confused for obvious. That's where I'm getting. Um, uh, that's where I'm getting confused. My own dialect of Anglo Latin. <laughs> burgulator. Why did. Burg. Burglar. What the fuck? Burgulator. That sounds so much better. What a mistake. Hey, thanks for watching. Fuck French. See you tomorrow. <laughs>